Hello, my dear students. How are you? I miss you so much. This is Ms. Abir, and today, inshallah, we are going to revise a lesson that we have studied before in science. So I hope that you are ready. Let's start. Okay, today, inshallah, we are going to revise a lesson that we have taken before, which is the law of conservation of mass. Let's begin. In this lesson, we will learn, first, we will learn how to show a chemical reaction. How can I describe a chemical reaction? Then, we will revise the meaning of the law of conservation of mass. What is the meaning of law of conservation of mass? And finally, at the end, we're going to make some application and examples to make sure that we have understood very well. Okay. In any chemical reaction, scientists or we usually use a chemical equation. Okay, if I want to describe a chemical reaction that is happening, we use a chemical equation. So what is the meaning of chemical equations? They are equations, like equations that we use in math, as I told you before. We use them to see the changes that occur during a chemical reaction. We have chemical reactions. We have chemical changes. Right, we have substances that we start the chemical reaction with, and these substances they react with each other to have what a new product. Let's see how. What is the meaning of chemical equation? Okay, let's have an example to have more understanding. Okay, we said that in any chemical reaction we have reactants. Do you remember what is the meaning of reactants? Hmm. Yes, very good. Reactants, they are substances that we start our chemical reaction with. Okay, so these, these reactants, they react with each other. So I told you then after the reactants, we have what? Arrow. In chemistry, we don't use equal. This is a math equations, but here we will use arrow. What we will have later at the end of the reaction, do you remember? Yes, very good. We will have a new products. Excellent. So in any, any chemical equation, we have reactants, which are the substances that we We'll start our chemical reaction with, they react with each other, they combine with each other, they join each other, and after that, they will form a new product. Very good. Let's have example. We have an element. This element is carbon. Carbon is very important element. This carbon will react with another element, which is what? Which is oxygen. Also, oxygen is a very important gas. Actually, it is the gas that we use in breathing. Okay, they react with each other because they are reactants. So after that, I will what? I will draw an arrow because it is a chemical equation. They react with each other to form a new product, which is what? Carbon dioxide. Very good. So carbon plus oxygen. Can you see this plus? This plus means they react with each other. They join each other to form a new product, which is carbon dioxide. But do you remember, my dear students, when I told you that in chemistry, we usually or we always use symbols, shortcut. We don't use this long name of carbon, but we use only its first letter. So instead of writing carbon, I will write C. This is the symbol. 
يعني الاختصار. Okay, carbon, which is C, it will react.